guys, it's eTronMortron36 here, and today I'm going to show you how to get every NPC vill um, NPC on Terraria Xbox 360 edition. Um, there's this open spot on here for some reason. I think it might be glitched, but I did get an achievement that said you got all the NPC villagers. So today I want to show you how to get every NPC villager in Terraria Xbox 360 edition. So here is the wizard. So here's what he sells that I know of, and this game is updating um, quite frequently and all that stuff so i don't know if it's going to be good for that long so how you get him is you have to defeat the wall of flesh get, and get hard mode he'll be somewhere in a cave um i accidentally killed him once and i'd find him again but he'll sell you some pretty good stuff like this crystal ball and i can cover that again cover this in a video if you guys want me to so over here is we have dars and he is a goblin if you defeat the goblin army you'll find him in a cave kind of like mr um wizard right here and he'll sell you some pretty good stuff like the Tinker's Workshop, Rocket Boots, and some other equipment. And I could do um, videos on those if you'd like me to also. And um, so this is actually, if you guys want to know, this is actually my play world where I just play around with no videos on. So this is actually my first video on here. And this is T Titina. I don't know her name. is. She's the Dryad. She'll sell you some nature stuff. And all the stuff they're selling is in hardcore mode. So there might be not as much on normal mode you're playing on. So all you need to do is defeat one boss and she'll be here. She'll just come home. And make sure you have a room for a room. You need two light sources, a door, and a crafting table, and a chair. That's it. Um, but that's that. So Howard is actually pretty easy. He's simple. All you need to do is get 50 silver coins, and um, he'll move in with you. It's, it's pretty simple. So up here is oh, let's, this is this is the um, you know the normal guy. When you start, he'll spawn. All you need to do is make him a room, and he'll come with you. So he's pretty simple. And um, yeah. So up here is we have Sally. So how you get her, she's actually the like redstone genius in a way. Um, so you can get all your like wire needs from here. Your electricity works. And when you defeat Skeletron, she will spawn in that dungeon where Skeletron is. So yeah, for beginner kind of stuff, she actually it's kind of expensive. So just get ready to have a lot of money if you want to use from her. And this is Ogbeer. In every world, their name changes most of the time. So it's kind of randomly generated. And he sells bombs, so you find him by just getting bombs, and I think he just randomly spawns, and the girl's right there. There we go, okay. So, here he goes. He sells a grenade, a bomb, and dynamite, and he's pretty simple. You just need to get a bomb hole, just randomly appear, and yeah. And here is Mr. Jamal. Um, he will sell you guns, ammo, and that kind of stuff. Now remember, um, to, this is how you get him. You need to find a gun. You um, Here's two ways. You can go into the dungeon where Skeletron lives, and it'll have a gun. So that's a way to get him if you want. Or you can do an easier way, going into the um, um, the corruption, and then there's those balls you have to destroy. They'll actually drop sometimes a deadly rifle or something like a rifle along that range. So that's a pretty easy way to get. Just make sure you don't destroy three of them if you don't want to defeat the um, um, Eater Worlds. And last but not least, we have Rodney, and he's the um, he's the fabulous genius of clothing, apparently. So when you what you do is you defeat Skeletron and you get him. So you just buy clothing from him, and sometimes he sells like Mario stuff, like plumber's outfit. It's kind of cool. Um, the last one is actually the um, what is her name? Um, she's the medic or something like that. Yeah, right here. She lives far away because I don't like her really. So how you get her is you need to increase your like heart. So you can see up here in the top how I have like full hearts right by my mana. Um, if you increase your hearts by one time, she'll actually spawn in your house if you have a room, of course. So yeah, that's she's pretty easy. But when you try to get her to revive you, by the time it, you it's for to free for her to revive you, um, she's already your health is already generated. So she's pretty useless in my eyes. I'll see if you found a way to make it easier. So, actually, that's about it of the video. Um, if you have any questions on anything in this world, I, or all that stuff, I guess I can do a video about it. But, um, thanks for watching my, um, first Terraria how-to video. So, thanks, guys, and see ya.